Uh, the Javits Center has gone green, now sporting a one acre farm. Look at all this. Stuff. I wish we had smell a vision because it smells divine. I'm just going to uh, chop up some of this stuff in a bowl <laughs> and have a big salad. Uh, Pix Lemon's Kieran Dillon is joining us from the west side to explain what all of this is. Good morning. Hi, guys. Hi guys, good morning. Yeah, we are in one of the kitchens of the Javits Center, just outside that farm you mentioned actually. And as you said, uh, in this kitchen, the smell, the aroma is really just incredible. Now that farm opened last year in September, uh, but this is its first full year of harvest and it is expected to generate around 40,000 pounds of produce every single year. With more on that, I wanna bring in Jacqueline Tran, who is the Director of Sustainability here at the Javits Center. So tell us about that farm just to start. Yeah, so it's another piece of our sustainability journey, which is to be a model of sustainability for green buildings across New York State and for the events industry. Amazing. So I know 25 to 50 crops are out there, right? 40,000 pounds of produce per year. Tell me about some of those crops. Yeah, so we like to say that we can grow anything from arugula to zucchini. If it grows here, then we can kind of customize that with our chefs. And we do that with Brooklyn Grange, our farmers as well. Great. And a lot of that food, what happens with that food, that produce? Yeah, so it's a roof-to-table experience, I think, unlike any other in Manhattan. It steps away from the farm in the kitchen where we are now, and we have our chefs kind of cooking up the menu and really customizing it with our event organizers. And all of that produce is used for event, the events here at the Javits Center. That's right. So it's another way in which we can educate people through the experience. Amazing. And I know that the produce that isn't used is also donated, uh, which is just incredible. Uh, so with more on that, right, we want to get to the good stuff and actually try some of this food. I want to bring in... Nikos Marinos, who is Marinos, rather, sorry. He is one of the, well, he is the executive chef here at the Javits Center. Uh, he spent all morning cooking up some of this incredible food for us. Uh, so let's bring him in right now, Nico. Amazing. Wow. So here we go. Just, oh, thank you so much for doing this for oh, my us. My pleasure, my pleasure. Welcome. I have been, this food for the last hour has just been drawing good me stuff, in. Right? Yeah, it's really good absolutely, stuff. Absolutely, absolutely. Tell us, you're the executive chef here I'm at Javits Center. I'm the executive chef here at Cultivated Javits Center, yep. And uh, really privi privileged to be able to have a farm like this, to be able to literally walk out of the kitchen, pick my herbs, pick my vegetables, and make some amazing food. So that, that must be, you're right, it must be a chef's dream, really, to have a farm right outside your door. People talk about it, but we're actually living it, so it's, it's amazing. Okay. It's amazing. So, Let's start with the easiest question. Tell me about this food. So what are you since it's at? early in the morning, we figured we'd do a little brunch breakfast style here. We have a, a chicken and waffle. So each component has something from the farm. So the waffle has a, it's an herb corn waffle, kind of a savory waffle with a buttermilk uh, marinated fried chicken. And then we did a Javits honey. So we got, not only do we have vegetables and herbs here, we also have our own bees. So we took that honey with some hot sauce, drizzled it over the top. So we're going to do our version of a chicken and waffle. Oh, I cannot wait to try that. So, honey. yeah, it's great. And then here we have our a bed of arugula, uh, marinated a little olive oil sea salt with a um, herb goat cheese frittata and a tomato, uh, basil, and pepper relish on top of the frittata. So every level is um, ingredient from the farm. Amazing. And I noticed that relish. Uh, you guys back at the desk, uh, Craig and Hazel, I, I believe you have some of these uh, pickled pickles as well. And you yes. have uh, some of this honey if you want to try it with us. I'm going to do the, you know, trying. Go for it. You want to try I'm going to eat the, uh, the uh, okay. okay. radish pickles. Or pickled radishes. <laughs> okay. Oh, my go. gosh. I know. Oh, go okay. Let's it. try. Mm, go on. That's oh the radish. Oh, my gosh. I was That's Mm -hmm. Is that good? That's really good. So good. And partial is pretty good. You're you going to have to some honey. <laughs> this honey. Good stuff. Wow, it's incredible. That speechless. is so delicious. Yes, I'm speechless. Honestly, I'm speechless. Okay, tell me about this again. So here, we have a nice bed of arugula uh, from the farm. We just picked it this morning. A nice uh, goat cheese and herb frittata with a little tomato, uh, basil, and pepper relish on top. Amazing. And do, you, and do you come up with all of these... Um, yeah, well, we have a, a bunch of great talented chefs here, and we all uh, menu develop together, and uh, we come up with it, and uh, we, we test it, and we <laughs> taste it, and it's the best part. Mm. Hey, pickles. Did you try the pickled radishes? No, 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 I didn't try no. it. Yet. Sorry, guys, I know I it's tough to eat. It's tough to no, eat, listen. especially when the food is so speechless. I told, I told no, Craig I hope you're tasting gotta, it back there. Yeah, I told Craig he's got to do all the reading because I'm busy eating. 
She's digging those, They're those, delicious. those pickles. <laughs> Same here. I wish I had somebody to help me too. <laughs> and actually, I'm going to take some of that honey home with me, and I, I might pack up the chicken, too. Um, so you guys, honestly, this is just such an incredible, incredible morning here at the Javits Center, this farm. Um, if you want to check it out, actually, you can go online to the Javits Center website, and you can buy a ticket for a tour. It's only $5. I really recommend you come on down and do just that.